Hello everyone, Helder here. Today I'm reviewing the uh, Bird Caracara Rescue 2 uh, blade that is uh, made by Spyderco. All right, Spyderco is a very trusted company. They've been around for a while. Uh, they uh, make quality products. This one happens to be made in uh, China, but the specs and if uh, you do get your hands on it, uh, you feel like there is uh, some quality in here. All right, so keep that in mind. They're definitely made to the uh, Spyderco specs. Uh, what I do like about it is it has this uh, teardrop uh, eyelid in here, all right, for uh, single hand or opening, all right, so just get that started and you're good to go, so you could operate that with one hand, comes in handy when you're uh, recording with your other hand, all right, so it's a serrated bledge, uh, blade, so it uh, is made for uh, sawing purposes, uh, this was uh, given to me by one of our Natural Training Center uh, members, uh, who happens to be a uh, Port Authority police officer, New York, New Jersey, emergency services unit, so this is pretty much standard issue for them, cutting seat belts, uh, cutting clothes off of victims, um, you know, things of that nature that, uh, that a first responder would need. So this really is a, a first responder knife. Uh, he gave it to me because in the field for cutting rope, all right, something that uh, we try to avoid but happens often, uh, this is a, a great blade for that, all right? So it's worth the less than four ounces for it to be in my pack or in my bug out bag or my survival bag. And uh, as far as that application, it's it's worth its weight alone. Okay, it has these uh, FRN handles, all right, uh, quality, which makes them even, even more uh, lightweight. And at the same time, gives you a good grip surface, all right? So if you're dealing with blood or mud or water, anything like that, um, it uh, allows you to retain all right, and gives you some pretty uh, good traction on the handle itself. All right, uh, as far as any uh, self-defense application, of course, any tool can be turned into self-defense. All right, so just keep it in mind uh, the purposes that we might be utilizing for since we're not first responders. Um, you know, obviously, there, it's not really meant for thrusting. All right, it's not really meant for stabbing. But if you're working with uh, any type of uh, slashing, right, anything like that, obviously, it's going to hold on, right, like teeth to whatever you're working with and uh, bringing that in there. So once again, not a uh, self-defense weapon, but uh, you know, if you need it in a pinch and uh, this is all you have on you, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, all right? And it's just like everything else, it depends how you practice and how versatile you are uh, within your own uh, styles, all right? Or, or a combative application. Um, so that's uh, basically it, it's uh, as far as uh, specs. I mean, I gave you the weight on it, it's uh, a little bit over, uh, eight inches in length all right overall and uh, when it's folded it's just under five inches all right and once again it's uh, a little less than four ounces in uh, total weight so with an old piece of rope here all right you can tell just a couple very light pressure cuts right through all right and that was with very little application that's utilizing one hand and uh Obviously not being, not being in a pinch where uh, I'm worried about rescuing a victim. So uh, it does its job, all right? It's a tool that's made for a certain application. And if you're using it for that application, uh, you definitely won't be disappointed. So in summing up, if you uh, are looking or have a need for your survival bag for uh, something that uh, is serrated, 100% serrated, full size, all right, it's inexpensive. Uh, I think it's uh, under $30. Uh, shipped. I'll put a link in the blog post so that uh, you could access that information if you're interested. Um, once again, uh, a lightweight, quality construction, uh, something that you could kind of put in your uh, in your go bag and just forget about it. And um, spider co name. All right. So at least the specs you know are good to go. And uh, I'll definitely give it a thumbs up.